All right, so here's a little update to my project of adding an extender back to my Nissan Leaf, comprised of 1860C batteries. So uh, here's my tee-off that I created, and I put uh, must be over 20 coats of Plasti Dip, and that seems to be sealed up pretty good. Don't think any water will get in there. The shiny part there is I put a little bit more of automotive glue. It's sort of like a silicone, just to, uh, to to improve the seal. Although I don't think it was necessary, but why not? Might as well do it when I'm here. So the, the wires already run on top of the main battery pack to the back of the car. Um, that's why it's sitting here. I was about to install it, and I was thinking. You know what? Pretty sure the connections on there are good. I uh, crimped it pretty tight and then uh, soldered it. And then, uh, like you see, what I ended up doing is uh, putting a compression connector, drilling a hole, and uh, putting in and soldering. So that's it. I think it's a good connection. But to be sure, I figure why not check the temperature on this thing while I'm driving. If there's at all of a bad connection, the temperature should uh, shoot up pretty quickly. But um, hopefully not. Now, I was gonna use these little probe thermometers, but the cable's too short. So what I wanted to do is just run through the hole in the, um, where the access panel is for the main disconnect. It's gonna run the wire down and onto there, but this is gonna be way too short. But so, of course, I could cut it and spice it, but I was thinking, uh, laptop batteries, they all have one of these. These are thermistors, and the resistance varies based on temperature. So as the temperature rises, the resistance drops. So I checked them out, and I found a table that gives me the values. So I'm just gonna run, I'm gonna attach two of these to both sides. Probably on the side or on the top. Tape it on there. Then run a wire, like I said, through the access panel where the, uh, the main disconnect is into the cabin. And I'll have the ohm meter there to check the temperature. So if the temperature shoots up, I know there's a problem. And if it stays uh, nice and cool, then we're good to go. So I'll be driving around just slowly at first, and if everything's fine, then I'll go up. There's a hill close to my place where uh, maybe on the highway I can slow down and then just floor all the way up. So it should pull about, I think, 200 over 250 amps through those. And uh, if there's a problem, the temperature will rise fairly quickly. And if it doesn't, then I'm good to go. And so I just taped on two thermistors coming from uh, that I took out of uh, laptop batteries. So that's going up to the car, and it comes through the access panel right here. So currently I have two meters on there, and it's reading 12 kilo ohms, 12.2, and. Similar 12.8. These meters aren't exactly precise. Um, so I don't know if you can read this. So I made a little chart. So 12K is 20 degrees. That's Celsius, not Fahrenheit. That's room temperature. So as the temperature goes up, the resistance goes down. So that's 5.6K at 40, 2.3K at 60, 1.46K at 80. 817 ohms at 100, 482 at 120. Hopefully I won't be getting that hot, because if I do then there's a problem. So I'll be putting these two on my passenger seat. I'll keep an eye on it while I'm driving. And uh, fingers crossed, everything will work out.